Roma nell'ambito del Giubileo del 2025. On the final evening of the 10th World Meeting of Families in Rome, Cardinal Kevin Farrell announced at the Holy Mass with Pope Francis that 2025 will be celebrated as a Jubilee year. The motto for the Jubilee year is Pilgrims of Hope. According to the initiators, however, the motto is intended above all to show that pilgrimage is not an individual path, but a communal path whose movement is increasingly oriented toward the cross. Pilger der Hoffnung. Pilgrims of hope. The Holy Father has in his mind, as he expressed himself in a letter he wrote to the organizer of the Jubilee, Archbishop Rino Fisichella, who is to prepare this Jubilee with his collaborators, of course. Here is the idea. We had a great, ordinary Jubilee in 2000 that many of us still remember well with John Paul II. Pope Francis then asked for a special Holy Year, the Holy Year of Mercy in 2016, and now 2025 is another ordinary Holy Year. Johannes Groa is professor of ancient and medieval church history at the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross in Rome. He has studied the tradition of the Jubilee years and how they connect to the tradition of indulgences, pilgrimage, and the forgiveness of sins. Then, from 1300 onwards, the series of ordinary holy years begins. This was first to be celebrated every 100 years. Then it was every 50 years, then every 25 years or 33 years after the years of the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. There were some fluctuations over the centuries. Basically, the pattern of every 25 years has prevailed, with some holes over the course of history. 2025 would be an ordinary holy year, in which the Pope invites pilgrims to Rome to visit the Roman Basilicas, to walk through the Holy Door and to fulfill the conditions that have already been mentioned, that is of receiving the sacraments and completing a pious pilgrimage. In the Middle Ages, pilgrimages to Jerusalem, the Camino de Santiago and also making a pilgrimage to Rome were very popular. To regulate the flow of pilgrims, Pope Boniface VIII issued the bull, Antiquorum Abet Fida Relatio, in 1300. Pope Boniface VIII, who at that time was Bishop of Rome, responded by issuing the famous Bull of Indulgence. We still have a picture of it. This fresco is in the Lateran Basilica. Boniface VIII proclaimed that the faithful who received the sacrament of penance, who received the Eucharist and took upon themselves a pilgrimage would receive the plenary indulgence. Boniface VIII was inspired by a jubilee that had taken place a few years earlier in 1294. In addition to the ordinary jubilee years, there have also been extraordinary jubilee years throughout the history of the church. For example, Pope Paul VI had a year of faith in 1967. Pope Benedict had a Pauline year. And most recently, Pope Francis declared the Holy Year of Mercy in 2016. For the faithful, these are good opportunities to reconcile with God. Jubilees, since the beginning of the 14th century, provide for the faithful a way to receive the sacrament of penance, to receive the Holy Eucharist and to take upon themselves this penitential work, in this case, a pilgrimage to a sacred site. The faithful can gain many indulgences if they, for example, participate in a spiritual retreat, if they make a pilgrimage, if they perform works of charity, and if they assist the sick. These works of charity and piety are connected with an indulgence, which the church then defines in detail as plenary or partial indulgence. 